Welcome. In this video, we are going to show the Kepler's relation, or we are going to derive the Kepler's relation. So, the question of consideration is show that the square of the period is proportional to the radius cubed. That is the Kepler's relation. So, we are going to show this period is squared, which is t squared, is proportional to r to the power 3, that is radius to the power 3. So, from this point, we are going to use the two concepts that were used in the previous video, and the two concepts are the centripetal force and the force of the, the gravitational force. So we are going to use the third um, concept so as to arrive at this. So we are going to proceed as follows. We know that the Fg, which is the force of gravity, is given by uh, the gravitational constant, the mass of the planet or satellite, uh, over the radius squared. So let us call this as equation number one. Then after doing this, we also know that the centripetal force, which is something in a circular path, which is uh, given by the force that is being experienced by something in a circular path is Fc, which is F, uh, the force, the centripetal force, mv squared over r. So this is the equation number two. So if we, since we know that uh, this is force and this is force, so we know that um, equation one is equal to equation two. So we can say uh, equation one is equal to equation two, which is Fg is equal to Fc. So we have Gm m over r squared is equal to mv squared over r. So we know from this point that this and this will cancel, then this and this will also cancel. And what we're going to have is just the V squared, which is equal to GM. So this is what we have, GM over R. So we have this equation. Let us call this as equation number three. So from this, we, we know that uh, for something that is in a circular path, the velocity or the speed of such um, an object is given by velocity is equal to 2 pi r over t, which is the period. So this is the circumference. The, the, this is the, what we use when we are finding the circumference which is simply the length around uh, the circle or around something that is um, in, a circular, uh, in a circular shape. So we have V is equal to 2 pi R over T, where this is the radius and this is the period. And here, since we have this as V squared, so let us say V squared. So if we square the V, we're going to square also over t so we square these also so when we square these two squared we are going to get for pi squared is pi squared then r uh, uh squared is okay this one then t to the power two which is t squared so let's call this equation number four so from here, if we plug in this equation number four into equation number three, we are going to have something like this. We are going to have four pi squared r squared over t squared is equal to g capital M over r. So from here, we can do some little mathematics by simply cross multiplying, and we are going to have uh, four pi r squared, 4 pi squared, then r, so this times this, we're going to have r to the power 3, which will give us g squared, then gm. So from this, if we make g the subject, g squared the subject, we're just going to divide by gm, also here by gm. So this and this will cancel, and what we're going to have is t squared is equal to 4 pi squared r to the power 3 over gm. 
So from this, we can say this is equal to, so we have 4 pi squared over gm, then r to the power 3. So we are able to see that t squared is proportional to r to the power uh, 3. And this is the Kepler's relation. Thank you so much for watching the video.